All new at five, some Fort Mill students learning they'll attend new schools next year. Overnight, the school board voted to rezone district lines due to the massive growth in the area, leaving parents and students outraged. Billie Jean Shaw live in York County. Billie Jean, you spoke to both sides of this. So what are they saying? Good evening, Sarah. Well, the Fort Mill School District is predicting more than 5,000 students will move into their high schools by the year 2020. So to alleviate the issue of overcrowding, they chose to redraw the district lines. Parents who have children in the school district are upset about this decision, calling it unfair. After a month of critical research, presentations, and meetings, the Fort Mill School Board has passed a vote to rezone district lines. That now means a total of 1,088 high schoolers will be moved to a new school come August. This map shows exactly what student will attend which school. But in short, some students attending Fort Mill High will now move to Nations Ford. Furthermore, some students from both of those schools will be moved to the district's newest high school, Catawba Ridge, those doors expected to open next year. Joe Burke, a spokesman for the district, says the decision was based on the threat of larger, overcrowded classrooms. Uh, one of the big issues we have right now is the higher population at Fort Mill High School, so we really had to look at options that were going to allow us to get that under control and extend the life of our attendance areas without having to do this again in just a few years. Yet the option is not sitting well with those who live in the Gold Hill Road corridor, including Kristen Sloboda. She says this school change will be the fourth time the district has moved her oldest son to a new school in the last three years. Yeah, he was pretty upset about it, pretty emotional. Sloboda's son is a freshman and standout on the swim team at Fort Mill High. He recently was promoted to varsity, but with the new rezoning rules, come August, he'll be attending his school rival, Nations Ford. And he has said to me, um, I don't want to swim with, with NAFO. I can't compete against the team that I'm supposed to be part of. Now, the new attendance lines will not affect upcoming seniors. They will remain in, at the high schools that they have attended all four years and will graduate from there. But come next year, we are going to be hearing this discussion once more as the Fort Mill School District will now start discussing redrawing attendance lines for their middle and elementary schools. Reporting live in Fort Mill, Billie Jean Shaw, NBC Charlotte. Billie Jean, thank you.